We have a rather small herd, 13 animals. We had hoped to have uh, between 20 and 30, uh, but there were bad conditions in South Dakota where they were being rounded up off the uh, Wind Cave National Park where they have about 525 bison uh, being uh, surplus animals being sold off every year, and we were hoping to get a larger number of those, but again, they weren't as successful with their roundup for weather conditions. So we're starting out with 13, seven males, and uh, six females, and we hope to add to that over time. They're being put into a thousand acre pasture, which will allow a capacity for them to reproduce naturally up to approximately 100 animals. It would be a maximum carrying capacity, and then we would have surplus animals that we would have to think about uh, moving to other locations. Yes, these animals were young age animals. They were one and a half year olds and two and a half year olds. The females, uh, ranged in size from roughly uh, 350 to 400 pounds, and the males probably ra ranged about uh, 50 pounds heavier than that. When they're fully grown, uh, which takes a while for a bison to fully mature, uh, a little longer than our domestic cattle, uh, the females will probably weigh three times that much and the males four times that much, uh, up to 2,000 pounds. Well, it's a, it's a good location from our standpoint, from the, the opportunity for the public to be able to view them. Now, certainly this was part of their historic range. Uh, they did not tend to be here, perhaps, in great numbers year-round. They would have tended to move to different locations farther to the west where uh, forage conditions, types of grasses are more conducive to making it through the winter time. Uh, but there would have been limited numbers still around here. But our, you know, there are private herds, but the disadvantage you have, of course, is that you don't have, you as the public, do not have access to those private herds, and they will have here. And so we want them to have that full prairie experience as they visit this preserve. Uh, if you want to know more about this and, and other preserves of the Nature Conservancy, uh, you can go to the website and go to nature.org slash Kansas, and uh, you'll see about all of our preserves and programs there.